What's up guys, N0 here, and I have another Vanguard opening. Uh, Butterfly to Moonlight, which uh, which is a really cool set. Um, this, this opening will probably be the same, very similar to the last one, uh, in terms of, oh hey, look at that. I think that's an SP pack. Either that or the packaging is just totally weird. Probably is. Anyway, uh, it's going to be the same as the last video where I have do one box, open one box, and uh, I got the grand blue dice, which is cool. I like blue. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, it would be the same where I open a box and then I open up a special little bundle of clan stuff. So, um, yeah, let's just get to it. Curious to know what that pack was that was just folded in there. I'm gonna keep that box because that box is really cool looking. All right, so got our gifts. We don't need to know them. All right, so let's get to opening. So I like this set because oh, I like Rummy Labyrinth in general because. Arby Labyrinth was had interesting cards, and their character development was really great. New heal trigger for him. Starry Pop Dragon. Edge in the Darkness. Double rare. Which is cool. Aside first. New he a new draw trigger for Grand Blue. Another Nightmare Doll. Nightmare Doll Marin. Marion. And Flute Blowing Stealth Rogue Katagu. I think the only Murakuma cards I would want is the, the Dueling Dragons and the Arrestor. And Flick Stamper. Uh, Seven Seas Master Swordsman's Slash Shade, and we got Rampage Shade for the new Crit Sentinel. That's cool for Grand Blue. Got a new marker, Treasures. Uh, I exactly know how it works yet, but I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, Soul Barret, Barret Roulette, and we got Succubus of Pure Love, which is a the Grade One or Grade Three Searcher for Dark Irregular, which is nice. Pretty sure it's used for the, the Sherat deck. Sherat. Blending Burner. And Doppel Vampire. I think you're supposed to sound French with the, the Vampire stuff. Magi, Magia Doll, Lunatech Dragon, and uh, we got Lord of the Seven Seas Night Mist, which is another night, uh, a newer, well, I don't know if it's newer, but another Night Mist card, but he has his own mechanic of treasures. This is a cool looking doll, or a card, Magia Doll, Dark Side, Mirror Master. New, new uh, draw trigger for Murakumo. Stealth Rogue of Rough Skills Musanari. And Dueling Dragons and Tethu. Which is one of the Mur I think the only Murakumo card I wanted. Besides the uh, the other arrestor. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm making... I'm, for my Murakumo deck, I think I would wanted to go with uh, the arrestor. 
uh, dueling dragons. Undying Departed, Greenwich. So the new Grand Blue starter. Uh, Witch Doctor, Powdered Bone, Necrobone. Uh, austere Heater, Darker Regulars. Alright. This is the pack that got warped into the got warped into the the advertisement, so let's see. Not an SP pack, but oh well. Witch Doctor of Lancure Necrolazy. And we got our Vanguard Rare. So it turned out to be the Vanguard Rare that was in got uh, in that box, in the top of the box, which is Sherat Vampire, which is nice because uh, he's a pretty cool card. Uh, maybe I'll make a Sherat deck because I still don't have a Dark Irregular deck. I was going to go with the uh, Rufus No Life King combo, but I might go with Sherat because that might be better. Stealth Rogue of No Mask, Awazu, and Stone Framer. So we got this pack. Alright. Uh, Pale Moon, new draw trigger for Dark Regulars. Backward Arrester, that's the other arrester, or that, that's the arrester I was talking about. And we got Dark, Sword, Dark Side Swordmaster for Pale Moon, which is pretty cool. This looks really cool, to be honest. The art on this one looks really nice. So. Alright. Seven Seas Helmsman Night Crow. And Flap Fixer for a dark regular. I like how Vanguard's mixing it up with making new mechanics like Magi Doll. Uh, Harry is doing stage and Seven Seas are doing treasures. Which is pretty cool. Uh, Magi Doll Prana and Stealth Rogue Plum Blame. Uh, Deflect Sweet, which that's a really scary looking card. And Lore Pigeon Pop for Magidol stuff. For the Hari deck. I think it's something that has to do with the, the stage mechanic. The new heal trigger for Dark Irregulars, which looks really cool. Alice of Nightmare Land. Uh, Skeleton Pirate Skipper. And our triple rare is Masquerade Bunny, which is another grade one searcher, or grade three searcher, which is cool. And then our last pack, which might not be anything because we already have a lot of hollows, so let's see what we get. Another treasure, that's cool. New draw trigger for Grand Blue. Flap Fixer. And we got Stealth Claw Rogue, or Demon Claw Stealth Rogue Yotogi, which is interesting. I think you need like a full playset of him to make it uh, good. So, start ended off with a triple rare, which is nice. So, to sum up this little pack of, or box opening. We got, we got this, we got Togi, Masquerade Bunny, another more dark regular stuff. We got Sherrod, which is cool. Got my Dueling Dragon that I was hoping for. Got Seven Seas stuff, the Grade 3 Searcher, uh, more Grand Blue, Edge of Darkness. So that was pretty cool. 
All right, so now I have two clan bundles from Triple Sleeve that I got, I ordered, because uh, I really wanted everything from these clans, so we got the Night Rose, which is, I'm glad I got Vam Shira Vampire, because um, it'd be very, very awkward if uh, I pulled either Shira Vampire, or Night Rose, and Harry from this, uh, this set just because I I would have a fifth one of them, essentially. So we can look at all the, the grand blue stuff, which is cool. So we got like, look, we got night play set of Night Rose, play set of Night Mist, got play set of the Grade Three Searchers, got play set of the Night Spinal, which is for Seven Seas. Got thin place of thin mist banshees, the great uh, crit sentinels, under the, the rares, which is pretty interesting stuff. So look at that. You pretty much get all the a place set of almost every or every card, except for probably the, the starter, which you don't need a place set of the starter. We got six treasures, which is nice. Uh, new heal trigger. Good luck charm banshee, which is cool. There's the crits. There's the draws. Uh, this is the not. This is not the starter, but it's a grade zero. And it's for the seven seas stuff, and one one uh, starter. And for some reason they packed this one different. They must have forgot it or something. Uh, here's a place at a comb bard, which is a really valuable card right now. So I'm gonna put that in here, stack that pile. So that was the entire uh, Grand Blue bundle set, where it had every Grand Blue card in it. So uh, this one is the hairy one. Well, this is all of, uh, this is actually all of the Pale Moon. And Pale Moon had pretty much uh, two VRs, so you can imagine this one was a little bit more expensive, but uh, that's okay. I'm okay with that because getting my money's worth with doing this way. Because it's better than just gambling on boxes. This way it's at least uh, a for sure uh, grab of cards, so. Uh, got a playset of Harry's. Got a playset of the Venus Lucier, which is nice. Silverthorn stuff, which I do have a Silverthorn deck. I'm gonna update it. Got card dealer Jacqueline. Silverthorn Selvia, Selvia. Place it a masquerade bunny, so the one I pulled is extra, so I can put that in a trade binder. Or pigeon pop. Got melody moonlight melody tamer Betty. Got crit sentinels. There's the starry pop dragon, because that's that, this card is not not crucial, but it's a big part of the Harry strategy with the stage, which is cool. go. Got another Magi doll. Another one. Sticky rares. Got another Silver Thorn. Nightmare dolls. Got some common stuff. Flying Pr Periton. Got a new heel trigger in the form of Tender Breeder, which looks really good. Looks really good compared to the old heel trigger. Got Silverthorn, new draw trigger, which is Mirror Lord, uh, Sur Surmounter, I think that's how you say it. Got the other Silverthorn. Uh, I 
I think I was chipped on one, but that's okay. I have I have plenty of of uh, pale moon uh, of uh, the trigger stuff. So and uh, and the starter for Hari is the happiness collector. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that was the this is the entire uh, pale moon set. So uh, so that's pretty cool. So that was it for this opening um, I'm going to do I, I couldn't get uh, the a place like the the shadow powder and stuff for the next set so I actually purchased a whole case so um, so I'm gonna be doing that and I will get I'm probably gonna get my money's worth just having a case because uh, Luard is expensive. I'll get four decks out of it, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, I might do something different for the case opening, where I do it on a live stream, because, uh, video would be too long, so I can probably do it on a live stream, so. Um, so that will be it for this video. Um, yeah, sorry I don't do openings that often anymore, it's just with the... The current situation of the world money's kind of tight well not for me it's not so tight I just it, it's tight enough for me to stop the whole box opening and just go for the for sure uh, odds which is like buying these bundles so yeah that's pretty much what I've been doing and I'm buying like a lot of singles because some singles have gone down in price because you can't do anything with them so so yeah, I'm uh, doing that, and I'm always t I'm streaming on Twitch more often at uh, twitch.tv slash underscore n zero underscore x. So you can be able to check me out there. And uh, this channel is probably going to do different stuff where I'm not doing his openings as much. Probably like compilation videos or another video game slash anime crossover music thing opening so yeah and I'm always playing new games so uh, I'm getting hyped for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity so so uh, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>